Hi, welcome to How to Knit drop with Dropped Stitches. Um, to start, you knit into the stitch as normal, but then you do the number of yarn overs specified in the pattern. In this case, you're doing three yarn overs. So you knit a stitch, and then wrap your yarn around the needle three times. Now, as you look at the row that we're knitting, it looks like we're increasing a lot of stitches. But what's going to happen in the next row is that all of these yarn overs are going to be dropped in the next stitch, which creates the elongated dropped stitch look. So you knit a stitch, and then wrap the yarn around the needle three times, creating three yarn overs. Knit, wrap three times. Knit, wrap three times and across the row. So now we've set up the drop stitches and now we need to turn our work and actually drop them. And as you see, like it looks like we've increased the number of stitches, but really the number of stitches has not will not have an increased at all if we do this correctly. And so what we're going to be doing on this row is dropping the stitches before we knit each stitch. And with the first stitch of the row, I'm dropping them as I knit, but I'll show you um, how now. So here, I dropped all three yarn overs, and then I knit into the next stitch, which as you see, got really tall. Dropped the yarn overs, knit into the stitch. Dropped the yarn overs, knit into the stitch. So the yarn overs, again, are not being knit at all. So we haven't actually increased the number of stitches but we drop the yarn overs and knit into the next stitch. And this allows us to have a really even size in each of these dropped stitches, rather than trying to keep um, the stitches huge when we knit initially. So we drop the yarn overs off of the needle, like so, and then we knit, whoops, <laughs> into the next stitch. And so this is how we complete a full dropped stitch row. And so then after you knit, you sometimes need to tug on the bottom a bit to straighten it out. But you can see we have a really lovely dropped row here. To see patterns that include dropped stitches, check out www.chemnits.com. And after a dropped stitch row, sometimes when you knit the next row, you're going to need to, like, pull down to keep this drop stitch row sturdy. Don't worry, it will hold after, you know, you've knit the row or after any kind of blocking. But the, the row after you've done the drop stitches can sometimes um, be a little tricky. But as I knit right here, but again, you see it kind of bunched up, so you might occasionally need to just pull on the work to, um, fix the drop stitches, but look how lovely. And, you know, this could be on the way to making a really pretty scarf or whatever you may desire.